Is following Jesus following happiness that lasts? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. There once lived a king who was neither happy nor content despite a life filled with luxuries. The king came upon a common peasant, singing happily while he worked one day. The happiness of an ordinary man fascinated the king. Why was the ruler of the land with all the luxuries unhappy and gloomy while a lowly peasant had so much joy in his life? The king asked the man, Why are you so happy? The man replied, Your majesty, I am a common man, but my family and I don't need much. Just warm food to fill us and a roof over our heads. The king was not satisfied with the man's answer, so later in the day he sought advice from one of his most trusted advisers. After listening to the king's woes, the advisor said, Your Majesty, I believe that the man you saw has not yet been made part of the 99 Club. The 99 Club? What is that? inquired the king. The advisor replied, Your Majesty, to understand what the 99 Club is, you first need to place 99 gold coins in a bag and leave it on the man's doorstep. After a tiring day working in the fields, the man returned to his house. There, the man saw a bag on his doorstep. He took the bag into his home and opened it. He let out a great shout of joy when he discovered that the bag was filled with gold coins. He began to count all the gold coins. After several counts, he was convinced that there were 99 coins. He wondered, what could have happened to that last gold coin? No one would leave just 99 coins. He looked everywhere he could, but he could not find the 100th coin. After a while, he was exhausted and decided that he would work harder than ever to earn that gold coin and complete his collection with the 100th coin. From that day, the man's life was changed. He was overworked and turned grumpy. The king asked the advisor why the man wasn't happy and satisfied anymore. The advisor replied, Your Majesty, the man is now a member of the 99 Club. He continued, The 99 Club contains those people who have enough to be happy but are not content because they are always striving for that extra one and telling themselves that they will be happy if they get that one final thing in my life. We can be happy and content with a little in our lives, but the minute desire to get bigger and better overpowers, we forget to appreciate what we already have and enter the world of discontent and unhappiness. We lose our sleep and our happiness. We distance ourselves from the people we love while striving for better. Lack of content is what joining the 99 Club is all about. In today's Gospel reading, Jesus commanded Levi to follow him. Instantly, Levi obeyed. This marked the crucial turning point in Levi's life. He did not lack anything. He had everything money could buy. He was a tax collector an occupation that brought a lot of material comfort for him. Yet, he was unhappy. He knew that people were angry at him. Tax collectors had a bad reputation of enriching themselves at other people's expense. He was not at peace. He knew that there was something in his life that needed repairing. In the end, he could not buy everything after all. Happiness was elusive to him. When Jesus called him, he chose to give up his wealth, something he acquired illegally, for he found happiness in Jesus. Do we have that same realization? Is there a turning point in our life where we are suddenly compelled to mend our ways and seek Jesus? Have we found him yet? Perhaps we did, but we often find ourselves backsliding because the pressures of life, the expectations of others, the lure of money and the temporal pleasures that go with such continue to overpower us. There is hope though, the Lord continues to call each one of us, regardless of our state of life today. He has promised to minister to the sick, the sinners like us, who know that at the core of our being, we are in need, searching, restless, unhappy. We just need to repent, immerse ourselves in Him, avoid the company of those who can tempt us to abandon our newfound happiness in Jesus. If our time and energy are spent to gratify the soul and glorify our God, happiness will be real graspable, 
constant even in the midst of suffering and death. St. Augustine sums it all up when he said, You have made us for yourself, O Lord, and our hearts are restless until they rest in you. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, may I never stray from your sight. May I never grow stale nor dispirited as I follow you, so that I may gain eternal happiness in you. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.